Let's open the Dimensions folder. Here, there are photos that show us what our kitchen will look like. First of all, we'll focus on these four photos. Let's see what it looks like. At the bottom, we have cabinets, usually 60 centimeters wide. Some cabinets are modeled from the bottom to the top. We also have smaller cabinets. Let's move on and we can see that on the right side there is a refrigerator and high cabinets. We also have a kitchen island that we will model soon. On the left side there are cabinets on the floor with the height of 10 cm plus 72 cm plus 4 cm for the worktop. At the beginning we will model these four cabinets on the left. Let's start with the first cabinet. The base of the cabinet is 60 by 60 centimeters. I choose a rectangle tool and draw the base. I don't have to draw it right next to the wall. I can draw it somewhere here and later I will move everything to the right place. I click once, drag out and type in 60 semicolon 60. I approve it by pressing enter. Okay, we have modeled our base. I will model the lower part of the cabinet later. Therefore, I will pull up the square with the push-pull tool to a height of 72 centimeters. We can see it in the picture. When pulling it up, I type in 72 centimeters. Then we have to model the fronts of the cabinet. Let's note that we have different types of fronts here. We will start with one front that is not divided into individual parts. To create such a front, I choose the push-pull tool. I click on this face on the right side and pull it forward. I press the left control. Notice that after clicking on the keyboard left control, this face has been divided. If I click the left control once again, it is not divided. Remember that when we are modeling, it's always good to click the left control on the keyboard to divide model elements into separate parts. I will pull this face forward by one centimeter and confirm it by pressing enter. It's done. We can edit the created front from each side. I will press the left control because I don't want to divide this front anymore. The distances can be 0, 25 centimeters. So I only move these faces a bit. If I see lines that are not necessary, I select the eraser tool and click on these lines here. And here, that's all. I will group the cabinet. I click three times on the element, then right click and make group. Let's move on to the photo and see that this cabinet is a little bit different. It's divided into three parts. Let's assume that the first division is 18 centimeters, then 18 centimeters, and then 36 centimeters. This is how these fronts will look like. I've already modeled one cabinet for myself, so I'm not going to do everything from scratch. I will copy created cabinet and edit it a bit. Remember that if we have already modeled something, we can always copy it and remodel. So, having this cabinet selected, I choose the move tool and move it to the right. I press the left control so that this element is copied and I move it a little bit. Okay, now we have to set the correct distances between divisions. As I said before, it will be 36, 18 and 18 centimeters. First of all, we have to go into the group mode. I click twice on this front 
and we can start to draw lines with the help of the guidelines. Using a tape measure tool, I click on the edge at the bottom and drag it upwards along the blue axis. Thanks to this, I'm sure that my guideline will be horizontal. I type in 36 centimeters. I click on the guideline and drag it up, typing 18 centimeters, and it's divided. Now we need to draw a line according to the guidelines. That's why I choose the line tool. Remember that it's very important to be in the group editing mode. Okay, let's start to draw a new horizontal line. Notice that at the intersection of the guide and the edge, we can see a red star or a red dot called intersection. I click once, drag along the red axis, and click a second time. Now let's see that if I click on the faces, they have been divided. I do the same with the second guideline. I choose the line tool, I click once, I click a second time, and we can see that it has been divided as well. We still need small gaps between the fronts. Therefore, I will draw some additional guidelines. I choose the tape measure tool and click on the line, drag it down, and type in 0 0.5 centimeters. So it's 0, 0,5. Press enter. I do the same here. I click on the guideline which was created before. I drag it down and type in 0 0.5 centimeters. And once again, I draw lines according to these guides. I click once, drag, and click second time. I do the same here. I click once and twice and check if these faces have been divided. They are divided, so now I can easily pull out these fronts. I click on the push-pull tool and pull the faces inside. I do the same with the face below. It looks okay. I can still get rid of these lines that are not needed. I select the eraser tool and delete unnecessary edges. I remove these lines on both sides. And we have such cabinet. I would like to get rid of these guidelines. I don't need them anymore. First of all, I will exit the group editing mode, so I click Escape. And now we can remove these guides by clicking on the guides and deleting them. I think that the best way to do it is just go to the Edit tab and choose Delete Guides. It's done. 